Hey everyone, I'm Kelly from Signature Solar. Today, we've got an exciting topic to dive into, the world of rapid shutdown components in solar installations. In this video, we'll be shedding light on the differences between the Tygo TS4AO, the TS4AS, the TS4AF, and the TS4A2F rapid shutdown modules. So let's get started. To kick things off, let's clarify what rapid shutdown is and why it's crucial in solar systems. Rapid shutdown refers to a set of safety measures designed to minimize the risk of electric shock during emergencies or maintenance. In essence, it rapidly reduces the voltage in PV modules to a safe level, enhancing the safety of first responders and technicians. All four of the units we will be discussing today comply with the 2014, 2017, and 2020 NEC 690.12 rapid shutdown specifications when installed on each PV module. Now let's introduce the first component in our comparison, the Tygo TS4AO rapid shutdown unit. This unit is attached to each of your solar modules in an array and ensures a safer environment during emergency situations. It's compatible with most panels and inverters, making it a versatile choice for your solar setup and is rated for PV modules up to 700 watts. So what makes the Tygo TS4AO stand out? The O unit is a fully featured unit providing optimization, module level monitoring, and rapid shutdown. The O in the name stands for optimization and is this unit's special feature. What is optimization? This device will optimize the performance of each individual solar module. It connects to each panel and ensures that they operate at their maximum efficiency by individually tracking and adjusting the current and voltage output. This is especially useful in situations where shading, dirt, or varying panel characteristics could otherwise lead to reduced system efficiency. By ensuring that each solar module contributes its highest potential output, a solar optimizer improves the overall efficiency and energy yield of the entire PV system. So the TS4AO unit is for you if your PV system has any shaded areas and you need to optimize your efficiency. Check out Mason's basic shading test with this Tygo optimizer that is linked in the description below. This O unit is incredibly easy to install and doesn't require many additional components, streamlining the installation process. The monitoring capabilities of this system allows you to monitor how your system is doing through the provided energy intelligence portal and makes maintenance easy since you can pinpoint issues on specific modules. All of this, along with rapid shutdown, is made possible through the wireless communication of the Tygo access point. This communicates directly with the Tygo Cloud Connect Advanced, or CCA. They call the Tygo access point TAP. The O does require the TAP and the CCA to have its features be fully functional. One TAP can wirelessly communicate with up to 300 TS4s and one CCA will collect the data for up to 900 TS4s or up to seven TAPs. We also have Tygo's TS4AS rapid shutdown module. This unit features a monitoring ability through the energy intelligence portal as well as code compliant rapid shutdown. The S module does not feature the panel optimization, but works harmoniously with the O unit. Mix and match these units to meet your needs, optimizing where needed with the O, and use the S throughout the rest of your system to be more cost effective. The S model, like the O, uses the wireless communication method through the TAP and the CCA. Now let's move on to the Tygo TS4AF and 2F rapid shutdown modules. Both of these components are IEC and UL certified as they continue to meet the NEC requirements for rapid shutdown. The F module, where the F stands for fire safety, excels in rapid shutdown. It is PVRSS certified, meaning that it has been tested and UL certified with hundreds of the top inverter models. This unit, like the O, is also rated for up to 700 watts per solar panel. Both the F and the 2F units, which we'll discuss next, use PLC or power line communication via the use of the RSS transmitter to meet certification requirements and operate as intended. The RSS transmitter emits a keep alive signal until a shutdown has been initiated. Once the shutdown has been initiated, this kills the keep alive signal, shutting down the TS4, 
reducing each PV module's voltage to six tenths of a volt in less than 30 seconds. It then works to discharge the complete array to comply with NEC code. Some inverters, such as the EG4-18K PV hybrid or the Schneider MPPTs, already have built-in transmitters eliminating the need for the separate RSS. Another thing to note is that the F modules cannot be used in the same PV system using a common inverter with the O or S units because of the different communication methods used to meet shutdown requirements. Now let's talk about the Tygo TS4A 2F module. The 2F means that this one unit can connect to two modules and is rated for fire safety. This module has all the same features and benefits of the F meeting NEC rapid shutdown requirements with slightly different specs, which can be seen on the module spec sheets. This unit is rated for up to 1000 watts, which is 500 watts per solar panel or channel. The 2F may be a more cost-effective solution because of the additional advantage of allowing you to connect two panels with one unit. But Kelly, you ask, what if I don't have an even number of PV modules in my stream? Well, there's a simple solution, two actually. So with the 2F module, I'm gonna connect two solar panels. I'll connect one here, and then I have an uneven number of panels. What am I gonna do with these last two that are hanging off? One of my solutions is that I can combine a single with all the other ones that have doubles and finish out my string. The other option I have is if this is connected, I can simply plug these last two connectors into themselves and we're ready to go. This module also requires an RSS transmitter to operate appropriately, but remember, as we talked about before, it may also be built into other inverters. The 2F is a very cost-effective solution reducing labor cost as well as BOS, or balance of systems, since you only need one unit for every two PV modules. With these options in mind, how do you choose the right module for your solar setup? The decision to use the TS4AF or 2F units over the O or S units should be based on the project application. Since rapid shutdown is mandatory in the U.S. for all rooftop installs, then it boils down to whether the customer wants to optimize the system and enjoy all the benefits of module level monitoring with the O or S units, or if meeting rapid shutdown requirements is the only goal, which would require the F or 2F units. Because ground mounted systems do not require rapid shutdown option, then these would not be required if you are only operating a ground mounted PV system. Installing these modules is a breeze thanks to their user friendly plug and play design with the M4 connectors. They can easily be integrated into both new and existing solar systems. Plus, they're compatible with a wide range of solar panels and inverters, ensuring flexibility and convenience during the setup. Here's the magic. These components are designed to be easily slid onto the frame of your PV module. The teeth on the module itself dig into the frame, becoming its grounding point. This ingenious feature eliminates the need for an extra grounding wire simplifying your installation process and saving you time and effort. Once on the frame, simply plug in the short wires into your panel wires, matching positive cables and negative cables. The longer wires are then available to connect your PV modules in series or parallel as desired. Compared to other solutions that can take hours to commission, the TS4 system allows you to complete the commissioning process in under 10 minutes. That's a significant time-saving advantage and lets you get more done in less time. As we wrap up, remember that rapid shutdown isn't just a regulatory requirement, it's about safety. The Tygo TS4 rapid shutdown units from Signature Solar provide you with options that not only enhance safety, but also optimize the performance of your solar system. Tygo even stands behind their product, backing them with a 25-year warranty, helping you feel secure in your purchase. Use the link in the description below to check the TS4's compatibility with your PV system for certification and best results. That's a wrap on our comparison of the Tygo TS4 AO, S, F, and 2F rapid shutdown units. We hope this video helped you understand the difference between these components and how they can benefit your solar setup. Remember, the O represents optimization. This unit is for you if you have any shading or other factors that might affect your efficiency output. The S represents rapid shutdown and monitoring. The F represents fire safety. 
If you want the cheapest and simplest solution to meeting the NEC 690.12 rapid shutdown requirements in case of fire, but you don't need optimization and monitoring, the TS4AF or 2F is the choice for you. The 2F may be your best choice if you have a really large system. If you have any questions or need more information, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos from Signature Solar. This is Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe that solar is for everyone.